Hi, uh, I'm Rob Lockhart, the creative Codemancer, and I wanted to spend some time today giving you an overview of how code works in Codemancer. So let's jump in. So before we get started, I just want to explain some of what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, this is Aurora. She's the main character of Codemancer, and this is her familiar that she's riding. You'll get a choice of three familiars when you start to play the game. Um, and she lives on this <laughs> hex grid of a place. Um, or at least that's where the gameplay happens. You'll have to forgive, some of this art is not done by artists. Some of it's placeholder, just done by me. And this on the left side is your uh, magical tablet that you'll use to... Uh, help control your beast. So I'm just going to describe a little bit about how to move around within Codemancer. There's a, there's a lot to learn, but let's get started. So the simplest possible thing you can do as a Codemancer is just get your familiar, which is the animal that Aurora is riding on right now to move forward. So I'm going to go forward and then 1. So the, the numbers go from 0 up to 5. But let's just go forward 1 space. So to cast a spell, so this is a spell that we've just written on this tablet. Uh, and to cast a spell, you just press and hold, and then your familiar does as it's told. So you can also, uh, let's discard this forward for now, and just turn right. All the turns are relative to the direction the animal and Aurora are facing. Uh, so this right doesn't mean right on the screen, it means just a right turn relative to them. So that'll, if I turned once, it would get her pointing to this in this direction, twice would get her pointed in this direction, three times would get her pointed in this direction. So let's do three times and just get her turned around. And then why not? go forward twice. All right. All right. Well done. But what if we wanted to hmm do something very repetitive? You know what? Let's have her go in a circle around this way and just end up right here. So we'll need a repeat block. So this is how many times to repeat and this is the end of the repeat block. So we'll have her repeat go right one and then go forward one. Okay. So this will only repeat twice. Let's repeat that five times. And she should move in a circle. Let's see. Great. So that's just the basics of getting around. Uh, next time I'll cover how to attack and do some other more complicated stuff. Great, so that's all I'm prepared to show for today, but uh, there'll be lots of more updates coming, so stick close to your emails. Till next time, bye-bye.